everybody thank you for joining me today I'm going to share a card with you and I'm going to start off by doing some stenciling so I'm just going to put my little craft mat down and I'm going to be using this stencil here nice pattern stencil okay so I've got myself a piece of watercolor cards but it's actually mixed media cardstock so I'm going to tape down my stencil and I'm just going to make sure that I'm actually in the middle and I'm just going to put some tape I'm going to use this Distress Ink Abandoned Coral and I'm just going to use one of my little finger dabbers so I'm just going to ink up this dabber and I'm just going to go over my stencil Now obviously you can do as light or as dark as you choose. I'm going to go a little bit dark with this one so I'm just going to go over it again. I'm just going to ink up my, my dab it. Just making sure that you've coloured everywhere. So I'm going to take off my tape gently. okay and that's what I've left with okay so I'm just going to pop on my heat gun just to dry this off okay so I'm going to pop that to one side for a minute next I'm going to do some stamping and I'm going to be stamping a butterfly and I'm going to be using this one here and I've got a matching die to this one which makes life a bit easier so I'm going to put in a piece of cardstock, put my magnets down and I'm going to stamp just here in the middle and I'm just going to pick up my stamp and I'm going to be using some Versamark and some white embossing powder so I'm just going to use my little embossing buddy just before I put the ink on and then I'm going to ink up my stamp, I'll just turn this around and you can see just going to ink up this stamp making sure that it's inked all over Okay, and then I'm going to close my door and press down nice and firmly just to make sure you've got all that image. Okay, and then I'm going to put on some white embossing powder. Now, I don't think you'll be able to see this because I'm struggling at the moment to see it. So I'm just going to pop on my embossing powder. Okay, so just where that butterfly is cooling down, I'm going to just mat this piece onto my cardstock. And I'm using this card here, I think it's 7x7, seven seven, this card that I've chosen, just a white top folding card. And I've got myself a piece of pattern paper just chosen from my stash, and I'm just going to stick this just in the middle of my cardstock. And I'm going to use some double sided tape to do that with. I'm just going to put on my paper okay press down nicely and then I'm just going to peel off I'm just going to go off turn the edges of my tape back and I'll show you why in a little minute I just find it easy when I'm crafting with this thin paper because it is actually only paper it's not cardstock this pattern piece so okay and I'm just going to make sure I've got my pattern the right way around and I'm going to stick it onto my card just make sure my card's the right way around as well yep so I'm just going to put this in the middle and when I've decided that it's where I want it to be 
Okay, as you can see, I can then just pull back this double-sided tape and I've got it nice and straight right in the middle of my card. Okay, so let's see if this butterfly is cool down. Yes, so what I'm going to do is the same. I'm going to use my abandoned coral and my dabber and I'm just going to ink over this butterfly as well. Okay, so I've got a matching die to this butterfly so I'm just going to line it up now it's actually too big to go through my little baby blue uh, die cutting machine so I'm just going to put it through my big shot okay so I'm back and I've cut out my butterfly and that die really does cut out lovely so that's my butterfly so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stamp my sentiment and I'm going to stamp that again just on a little piece of cardstock and I'm just going to use one from the same stamp set that the butterflies come out of and it just says a little note, a note to say rather. Okay so I'm going to emboss this sentiment now using my Versamark and my white embossing powder again just like I've done for the, states, uh, the butterfly rather. So I'm just going to stamp in the middle there and put my embossing powder over okay so I'm going to pop this piece onto the middle of my card but I'm just going to round these corners off just using my little corner punch Okay, and I'm going to sit this in the centre of my card. So again, I'm going to use some double-sided tape to do that with. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to take off the backing and I'm going to do the same as I did before. I'm just going to peel the corners back and then it gives me a chance to make sure that my paper's straight. And I'm fighting with this piece to get it off. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, I'm just going to make sure that I'm centred and I've got enough each side. Sometimes visually when you're looking at things, they never look straight. Okay, so I'm going to take off my back in okay so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to stick it on my butterfly before I do that I'm just going to go over it just using my sparkle pen just gently yeah, this pen's a crafter's companion one this one there are a few different sparkle pens out on the market I've tried a couple of them but I do prefer this crafter's companion one I've had the wink of Stella and I've had I can't think what the other one was called. I've had a few, but I've always come back to this Crafter's Companion one. I just find it nicer. Okay, so I'm going to sit my butterfly just in the centre of my card there. And then I'm going to go over my sentiment that we stamped and embossed. I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm just going to go over it with this abandoned coral. Okay, and I'm just going to cut around it and I'm just going to use this pair of these little fancy edges okay so I'm just going to cut around it and I just thought if I put a note to say then I can always add something inside happy birthday or thank you or I've got it there then I tend to give a lot of my cards away to um, to my friends and my family I give quite a few to charities as well so I'm just going to pop this sentiment just at the bottom of my card so again I'm going to use some foam pads okay so I'm just going to pop this sentiment just down here in this little left hand corner and then I've got some little red gems I'm just going to embellish a little bit I'm going to put three down the middle of my butterfly
and then I'm going to pop three down this side here and again I'm just going to pop another one there and then I'm just going to turn it round make sure we're straight with those before they dry I have put a little the adhesive supposed to be but I've popped a little bit of glue on the back just to make sure that they stay on and I'm going to do the same up in this corner here just going to add three of the same and there we go guys that's my little card done for today as always thank you for stopping by and taking the time to watch any questions please feel free to ask and um, I've got a new blog so I'll leave a link in the description for it um, and you can either go over to my blog or you can go over to my blog loving um, account there and have a look at what, what, what I've been doing and um, so as always thank you for stopping by and I'll be back soon thank you bye <music>